Hey guys, it's Jake. In this video, I'll show you how to go about designing a logo for your clothing brand. This is your logo. It's super personal, so of course I can't design it for you. I can only tell you the types of logos you can pick from and how you can go about putting your logo together yourself. Your logo also depends on your name. You can think of the name first, then think of the logo that complements it, or think of a logo idea first, then think of a brand name that complements that. We'll talk about both. So we're gonna go over 11 different types of logo formats. Logo formats that are popular in the streetwear scene, and then some tips for making your own logo. But first, I wanna tell you about my Seeks Vector mock-up pack. It has 112 vector templates, and it's meant for easier clothing design. Get your ideas down in seconds. There's tons of testimonies on my Instagram highlights. It's $28 and it's great. But how do you actually bring your mock-up to life? I also have a manufacturer list that includes all of these resources, tons of contacts I've used myself, and I know they'll be useful to you too. I also sell discounted bundles of these two together. Okay, back to the video. So first, combination work logo. It's a visual and a word in a composition together. A word mark logo made up of the brand name in stylized letters. Letter mark logo, it minimizes the length by using the initials of each word and creating a group. In some cases, the letters will sound like a word. NASA is an excellent example. NASA stands for National Aeronautics and Space Administration, but nobody actually calls it that. They say NASA. Monogram logos, reminiscent of the way a family name is embroidered on linens or etched on silverware. This style of logo has a generalized perception of luxury and exclusivity, although there are exceptions like many sports teams and some sports brands. Letter form logos, only one letter. This style of logo is perfect for brands that appreciate simplicity. For a letter form logo to stand out, it'll need a high dose of personality and form. Symbol or pictorial logos are made up of graphics that usually represent the brand name or function. These can be icons, illustrations, or shape compositions that are instantly recognizable as something specific. Mascot logos, fun and personable, but also limited. Not every brand will benefit from a mascot logo. Emblem logos is a contained design that includes all the elements inside an emblem shape. Brands that use emblem logos hardly ever have other logo varieties, but might have simplified versions of the same emblem. Similar to an emblem, but not exactly. The difference between them is the level of complexity. You could say that an emblem is to a combination mark what a letter inside of a shape is to a word mark. Negative space logos. The visual idea of negative space is to use empty areas to depict a symbol, shape, or graphic. It can be a subtle effect or a very clear one. That depends on what you're aiming to achieve. 3D logos. Give your logo an extra layer of uniqueness by making it three-dimensional. Make the letters of your word mark pop out of the page, make your emblem look like it's made of metal, or the shape around your brand name looks like a real object. Now for examples in the streetwear scene, here are some brands. Supreme, letters inside, shape, and possibly a word mark on its own if you consider Futura a stylized font. Stussy, word mark logo, it's a fancy font. Louis Vuitton is a monogram. Sieg's used to be a combination mark when my star was my logo. The star isn't my logo anymore, so I now see it as a word mark logo. And my Hydra logo is a symbol. Half Evil word mark logo, the fire is the added style. Their Reaper logo could also be seen as a mascot logo. Akimbo Club, symbol or abstract logo. I believe those are mountains. Demon's Basement, also a word mark. Professor E, also a word mark. Cavemt, letter mark logo. Ambush is a word mark, obviously. I don't think Ambush even has a type of recurring symbol or logo they use. Chrome Hearts is a combination logo and can be a symbol. So now for your logo, like I said earlier. One, the brand name would be first, then you'd make a logo based off that. Or two, the logo could come first, then make brand name based off logo. So let's go over the first one. Our brand name for this example will be Crystal Mesa. A mesa is basically a mountain with a flat top, so it expresses vibes of outdoorsiness, adventure, strength, sturdiness. Maybe the vibe could be mysterious since it's such a strange natural rock shape. A crystal is shiny, refracts light, beautiful, elegant, elite. When you combine them together and make a crystal mesa, it takes on a more fantasy expression. Something that doesn't exist. A crystal mesa, which is a crystal mountain, a huge crystal rock. What's inside it? What does it represent? Why is it special to us? What world does this crystal mesa belong in? Ideas for logos could be more crystal-focused, more mesa-focused, or using both equally. 
So our new brand, Crystal Mesa, needs the direction of its clothing. I'm imagining it touches on hardware and utilities with some of the clothes due to the Mesa aspect. I want some kind of ready for the outdoors type of look and feeling. But I also want it to be chic and minimalistic using dull composite materials, light reactive transparent fabrics, out of the box adornments to really push the who the hell thought of this reaction from the public. I want this brand to be a bit of a conundrum. Imagine a cold wall and the North Face combined. And of course, I've only had a few minutes to think of this new made up brand, but you get the idea and thought processes. Where does your brand belong and what is it meant to make people feel? Now the second one, you have the logo first. So we have this stylized gemstone brooch. Let's break this down. The graphic looks messy, broken, corrupted, old. Is it eroded, deteriorated? But there's an intact, beautiful gem in the center. Is this a royal item, a lost artifact? Maybe it's generating itself and it's not quite complete yet. See how many words you can interpret this one logo alone? Based off these breakdowns, the brand name could be lost artifacts or family heirloom or even just heirloom or i don't know maybe something more exclusive and fancy like alabaster or sinclair or a type of family name that sounds like it has rich generational wealth because the logo reminds me of a priceless brooch break down your logo and find the feeling the essence the atmosphere it's expressing thanks for watching like and subscribe if you learned something check out my brands and check out my digital assets see ya